Yo what is up guys my name is Hacky and in this video I'm gonna show you how to get a fully invisible torso in GTA Online. You guys really enjoy clothing and body part glitches so I thought I'd bring them back in this video today. So a few things we need to do first we need to take off all head accessories. The only type of accessory that's fine to have is gloves so let's put on whichever gloves we want to put on the outfit. Let's go for these why not and then you want to make sure your character is topless so I'm just gonna go into t-shirts and make sure I have no jacket it, no hoodie on nothing like that just like that perfect and then make sure you put on the pants that you want to stick on the outfit so you're not going to be able to change the pants after I don't think so as an example I'm going to be sticking with the pink joggers I have on right now and then for shoes let me actually put the shoes that I want to stick on the outfit afterwards let's put on some Yeezys and let's put the all white ones yeah these ones they look pretty nice with it once we have this down we're going to go into the top section inside of any clothing store all the way down to utility vests and then you guys want to equip the peach plate carrier which is this one so put on this exact utility vest on yourself equip that then go in the outfit section go into edit saved outfits and save this outfit in any slot you want so i'm just gonna overwrite this one and just so we know which outfit this is we're gonna name it invis and then save this outfit now we're gonna back out once go all the way down to heist coveralls which is gonna be in slot number 13 go all the way down and equip any one of the bottom four here as you see i already bought the hazard in the past so i'm just gonna equip this one and now as we have this outfit on us we're gonna go all the way to the pier after we made it to the pier we're gonna do the telescope glitch now which is a really easy thing to do if you don't know how to just sprint by the telescope while spamming right on the d-pad then we're gonna be standing in front of it like this now we're gonna open the interaction menu go into style don't move by the way as well and as we're not moving we're gonna equip the outfit that we just saved in the clothing store which is called invis press that now we're gonna back out walk away and after after a little bit we should see the mask merge onto this outfit which is exactly what we're looking for now we need to go to this exact ammunition store on the map so i'll see you guys once i get there once we made it here we're gonna go in the outfit section go into edit saved outfits and just overwrite the last save that we made we're basically just gonna resave it in the exact same slot that we saved it in before then we're gonna back out of this press pause go into online jobs play job rockstar created go down to missions and then start up the first one called a titan of a job and then we're gonna start up this job by yourself so if you did join someone inside of the job make sure you're actually the host of it and you just started up solo once we load in we're gonna go inside the gun shop go into the gear section which is this little spot in the middle we're gonna press my d-pad equip any of the earpieces it doesn't matter which one i'm just gonna go for the lcd earpiece if you want to do the exact same one i'm doing after we back out of this menu as you can see we do have a part of the heist coverall on our head right here if you remember the heist coverall outfit this is literally a part of that outfit just stuck on our head what we're gonna do now we're gonna press my d-pad on the soda machine to buy a soda i think most people have a dollar and then as soon as this is done we're gonna go in the outfit section so move your analog stick to the left and then just spam right d-pad to go in this menu we're gonna edit saved outfit and then just save it in the same slot we saved it in a few times before just overwrite the save yet again and save that then we're gonna back out of that go to the other side of the store into the shoes section and you can switch to whichever shoes you want to stick on the outfit if you already have the shoes that you want to stick on the outfit then you could just change it to another one and then just change it back but as you can see once we change it we do have a partially invisible body with a part of the t-shirt with our crew color on it i'm just gonna buy the gray one and since i actually want the white yeezys i'm gonna switch back to that one and we still do have the partially invisible body on us this is only a part of it don't worry but it is a good amount invisible already from the back it looks completely invisible from the front it's a bit glitched but we do have still a part of the shirt now we're gonna go back in the outfit section and yet again we're gonna go into edit saved outfits and save it in the exact same slot we've been saving it this whole time i'm gonna overwrite the last save once again then we're gonna do something similar to what we did before we're gonna back out once go into heist coveralls and once again equip any one of these bottom four i'm gonna go for the hazard once again and now we're gonna do something also pretty similar to something we've done before we're gonna go back to the pier this time make sure you're still inside titan of a job don't leave the job just yet of course we're gonna do the telescope glitch yet again so we're gonna sprint by it while spamming right on the d-pad then we're gonna stand like this open the interaction menu go into style and then re-equip the outfit that has the invisible torso on it right now which is called invis so we're gonna equip it back out walk away we will see the mask merge onto this outfit which is perfect 
Now we're gonna head to the nearest gun shop. It doesn't have to be this exact one on the map, so I'm just gonna go to this one. This time it doesn't actually matter which one you go to. Let's go into the outfit section, edit saved outfits, and save it in the same slot we've saved it the whole time. We're gonna overwrite that save. Once we got that, we're gonna open our phone and quit the job. Now at this point you're gonna see you've loaded into the job with a black shirt or into the online session not the job if you see this don't worry that's completely fine it's actually supposed to happen so what we're gonna do now is go back into a titan of a job so job play job rockstar created and then down to missions and start up a titan of a job as we load into this mission we should actually have the fully invisible torso as you can see so even if we look at it from the front it is completely invisible now which is awesome we only have this weird square in the middle which is probably just to make sure we're actually a legitimate player running around gta online then go back in the ammunition store go into the outfit section edit saved outfits and for the millionth time overwrite the last save in the same exact slot that you've been saving it after we've done that we're gonna open our phone and once again quit the job so at this point we've loaded back into an online session and we do have the black shirt again so if we go into style and then click on the outfit it will make our body invisible yet again but after a few seconds it'll put back the black shirt on our body which is not what we're looking for i mean i don't think anyone wants to just like keep on spamming this freaking outfit over and over and over again as you're playing gta online so at this point i'm gonna change my mask you don't have to do this part but ideally you want to put something different Different. I don't think everyone wants to have this gas mask on their invisible body outfit the whole time So let's go to the mask shop So if you're also someone that wants to change the mask on this outfit stand right next to the mask section Then open the interaction menu go into style and then select the outfit that has the invisible torso and then quickly back out of this menu Oh That is not what I meant to do. Let's back out of the menu without actually hitting a pedestrian We're gonna go into style and then select the outfit with the invisible body quickly back out spam right d-pad to go into this menu before the black shirt reappears on the outfit you can choose whichever mask you think looks good with this this actually kind of works well with the pink joggers i'm gonna try to match it up with the pink joggers i have on right now i'll go for this light pink mask with this like night vision goggle type thing then we'll go back into edit saved outfits and overwrite the last save and now you actually save this mask on this invisible torso outfit it'll go back to a black t-shirt after a little bit but once again if we press it it'll actually be fully invisible now i'm gonna show you how you can consistently have this outfit so you don't have to actually spam the outfit in the menu every single time so what we're gonna do for this we're gonna go into services and request Ariko Sokka. so you do need a submarine for this and on the way there we're gonna become a ceo so register as a ceo real quick go inside of the kosaka now inside of the kosaka you're gonna see the scuba section or scuba gear section right here this part is all about the timing you need to be relatively quick in this part so what we're gonna do open the interaction menu go into style hover over the outfit that has the invisible torso and as soon as we select it we're gonna quickly back out and then press right d-pad to equip the scuba gear on us we're gonna select it quickly back out press right d-pad and as you can see we do have the scuba gear on us now don't move just yet we're gonna open our interaction menu go into the ceo menu management style scroll one time to the right so you're on founder back out of this and then we're gonna press right d-pad to remove the scuba gear and as you can see we have the fully invisible torso and it is consistently on our body without it just going away after a couple seconds. Of course, you can leave the Kosaka and it'll still be on your body once we go outside. As you can see, we're outside. We still have it on us. The only thing is, is that you do need to redo the last part of this with the Kosaka every time in a new GT Online session. But as long as you stay in the same session, it will be consistent forever and ever in that session. But if you restart your game, you just have to do the Kosaka part once again. That's the only little pain with this glitch. But besides that, I mean, it's pretty flawless if you ask me. We can even take the easy way out and the invisible torso will still be on us. As we respawn, we're going to respawn on shore and it will be consistently on us i don't know why we have the candy cane out but whatever if this went on to help you out be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel for some more awesome content and if you are having any trouble make sure to comment down below and either me or the hacky army will try to help you as best we can now click the video on screen now for the top clothing glitches in gta online i hope you all enjoy that video and peace